so yeah, today we're making another bait. Um, this time it's going to be a pellet bait, um, not ground bait. I've went and got some greens from my fridge, so I've got a bit of lettuce and um, celery and stuff like that. Um, I've also got a bit of stream weed as well from the river and some algae as well, just all thrown in there, obviously it's really good for the fish. Uh, blend it all up with one egg and about two and a half cups of flour and we're now into a point of where it's quite thick. Hoping you can see that guys. Bring it up a bit further. So yeah, um, I'm going to spoon it into this bowl now. It's going to be a bit difficult to get that out of the button, but I'm just going to wash that down. That we're not going to worry about too much. We've got plenty to be getting out of I need some more flour guys so um, uh, I was really hoping that we had enough so basically I'm going to leave you here a moment um, obviously for you guys with editing and all of that fun you'll go and either see us at the shop or back here with more flour unfortunately I'm going to have to now run into town to go and get some more and uh, it's going to take me a little while because I've got the two boys as well so I'll see you soon guys Alright guys, we've just got back from the shops, um, I've actually left this on the side and amazingly it's actually turned quite firm, it's still got a little bit of damp in it, so it's still do with a bit longer, or we push more flour, but I'll admit it doesn't smell the best. see it's doing up quite nice so I said it could do with a bit more flour actually it's still a bit a bit damp No, Zaki, come on. Out the way. So we've got 
over a cup and a half, maybe two cups of flour. This at the exact moment, I'm just going to it this time. Right, that's all sorted there then. So, I'll show it again. Um, so now you can see we've got a ball of dough. Um, we're going to go and leave that now. For well, less than 24 hours. It's going to be tomorrow afternoon now, probably when we go and deal with this again. Um, but the one I need to do is I need to put it into a bag. Got a nice big bag here. I don't want this. Just a big bag. I'm gonna try and persuade it. I hope they need to wash my hand again. spin out now but you can see there is no real air in the bag it's tight onto the mix and it will keep it from aerating and then uh, to stop it from sweating just straight into the fridge So guys, it will now be tomorrow when I go and look at that again. Um, I've now got the fun of getting this all cleaned up and yeah, off to work as well. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So just the following morning now, um, well say so morning, it's afternoon time. I've got a small boy trying to help me with the camera equipment. <laughs> Don't touch please. Um, now it's time to go and get this out and uh, go and knead it up again. I'm going to try and save the bag. It's not going to work so that off. It's a bit slimy so definitely gonna need some more flour on it. As you can see that it's lovely and firm now. 
um, as I said, it's just a little bit moist still, so we are going to have to put some flour down. If you hear any knocking or anything like that, it's the little ones just underneath the, uh, the tripod. I generally try and record when they're asleep, but both of us have uh, overslept a bit today, so he's not going down for that for a few hours, and I need to get this done. Oi, leave. Don't touch. I'm going to try, um, so as, as a just a, a side point, this is actually the first time I've ever made this bait. I've looked at a couple of videos on YouTube of what other people have done. Um, I'm using a similar recipe to um, one guy, I'll find out the name. Um, link his channel in the description um, obviously as I say this this isn't an original idea I've adapted it though um, one of the issues I found that he had by watching his video and if you go and obviously check that video out as well um, is he was trying to go and do it through like a straining board he tried a meat grinder and all things like that, but his mix was still very wet and sticky. Um, and he's basically he's based it off of a noodle recipe, I think it was, from memory serves. And uh, I should have actually took my ring off. Um, and with the the noodle recipe that it was, I actually looked it up afterwards and it says to leave it in a fridge like overnight so for about 12 hours so it solidifies up a bit which this has seemed to have uh, done quite nicely actually but as I say, we'll go and give it a go with the, I've got a meat grinder here. We'll give it a go with that. If it don't work, then uh, it'll be just lay it out, cut some strips, yeah. and yeah. the pallets that way. do it now it's starting to actually get so dry it's falling apart so just gonna ball it back up again sorry and so you see here it's too dry but if I get some of this I'm gonna try this with the meat grinder see how well this does So this could go horribly wrong, may work, may not, we're going to just find out now.
my base. The base isn't actually sticking. Mm, okay. Yeah, it, it's done what the um, the other video showed. Even with it being in a dry state, it's 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 just not working. So That's okay, I didn't think it would work, it was just a, a trial. Stuff dries quick on your own. Alright, let me just get this now. Clump it back onto the main one. Now I've got to get one of the knives, and I really don't want to use my knives, but. Okay, I think the uh, the camera went and had a little bit of a moment there. I don't know how much has been missed. I'm going to have to go and check back on the footage. But just in case it hasn't been recorded, we've now went and got the batter laid all out. And I've chopped it into slices. I've just chopped it all into slices at about one inch thickness. And I've made... made a little pellet here, I've just dropped it on the floor so it's a little bit out of shape, but that's what we're aiming for. Obviously if you want to go smaller, you go smaller, if you want to go bigger, you go bigger. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on, I'm going to move the camera now a bit, so obviously I can keep an eye on the screen as well as making this. Okay guys, um, just doing this as a, a little bit of a, a demonstration, obviously it's look, I'm not changing the process, it's literally put between my fingers and spin them until they're the shape of a pellet. Um, I'm going to sign off here for a moment, I'll get a batch made up, so it'll either be this whole lot, so all of this here and that ball as well, or just this here, depending on how many pellets I can get out of it. Um, once I've done that, I'll bring you back on, and uh, I will let you know what's going on. Okay guys, as you can see, we've actually now got a tray full of all the little pellets. Now, apparently with, because this is obviously meant to be a pasta recipe, meant to go and let it dry overnight. Well, for a few days. Well, the thing I'm doing now is it's just, let me just pan the camera again. You can see we've still got loads and absolutely loads of dough. Well, you know, the, the, the bait, shall we say. Um, but we've got also got basically a tray full. So I'm wondering is if we go and cook it to like harden it. Will that work? Because it's basically, as this is what I'm saying, I've never done this, I'm bringing you guys along with me, so we can both learn at the same time, so the mistakes that I make, hopefully you guys won't. Well, let's look at them before they go in. Now 
I've not preheated the oven, I've not done anything like that. We're just literally dumping them in and we're going to see what they do. Okay guys, I've had about, uh, I think, 15 to 20 minutes here. Um, so we are going to pull them out. We'll have a look at them. Fingers crossed. These have worked. Well, automatically, there's a lot of heat from the oven. Already, they look a lot better than what I thought they would. If I'm honest, let's just get this camera. They look so much better than what I thought they would. Um, got a little jar of water here, and the remainder of what is my lunch. Slow sinking, okay, slow sinking. Sorry guys, you were out of focus then. Okay, let's just gonna get this focused in. Just gonna give it a whir around, this is just to uh like replicate a bit of a current sort of thing. broken down a little bit you can see water's a tiny little bit cloudy so there's particles coming off but that there and bear in mind is there, isn't it? Good. Oh, whack. it's whacking against the top of the lid and bottom there we are look at that that's clouded up now but if I can go and find where the pellet is on the camera, there we go. You can see that the pellet, let me just go and get it out, just hang on. The pellet's perfectly fine, but has started to break down. It's now a lot softer. You know, there's a crack but that's perfect that's worked really well okay so I'm gonna get the rest of these now cooked up guys um, that was only the first batch as to say see if it was an experiment you've seen how much dough and whatnot I've got um, I've also made up a few little I'm hoping the camera can go and pick them up a few little ones like that just to obviously throw in and also that they can be banded onto a hook um, and used as obviously a smaller bait for like roach, stuff like that, anything that will really take it, that will fit it into the mouth. Um, 
because of the ingredients which are in there, as I say, there was a lot of greens in there, there was some stream of weed, bits and pieces like that, um, that I pulled from the river. Um, I don't know how much flavour they've got, if that makes sense. Obviously, I can't go and try them. Um, I've got nothing that leaked them here that will go and even see if it will work. Um, so, I'm also probably going to go and douse them in some system like mist as well. Either the black or sorry, the black currant mist or the um, squid, which I used the last trip out. Um, I am going to sign us off here, guys. I've got to go and get, like, as I say, I've got to try and get this done quickly now. Um, as I've, I'm out later, I've got work, unfortunately. Um, the other one I'm going to reiterate, I can't remember if I went and did it on the last video or not. We are not doing any river trips anytime soon I don't think um, the UK has been hit by a really high heat wave um, which means that the oxygen levels in the river are really really low so um, yeah we're, we're not planning a river trip anytime soon if I do do a river trip then it'll be on a cooler day but again I don't know how well that's going to go um, I may not be able to take the camera obviously if it's wet so I will go and keep you posted on Instagram um, that you know you can find all the updates there basically it goes and updates when I'm doing a new video it goes and tells you when we're looking at doing a fishing trip a day out anything like that it will be on Instagram um, so give us a follow on there if you do want um, obviously this recipe I will go and post it probably on Instagram again if you want it I don't think anyone really will because obviously it's one of those ones of where it's um, like you can use it for anything you can add anything you want to it um, music again is going to be done by Simon Alexander I've not decided the song yet um, as I say, but the time lapses will be having a Simon Alexander song over the top. Um, as I say, big shout out to him. Go onto his channel, give him a like, give him a follow, give him a comment on his music, and go and send the love from us. It's as I say, it's really, really is much appreciated for a person who's just starting out, and to go and have music like that at my fingertips, and he's saying yes, you can use it. It's brilliant. I will probably go and link it in the bubble again at the top. Um, go check out the previous video. Um, that will be probably live either the same day as this one or before. I'm not sure in what order I'm going to go and do them yet. Um, I've still got to go and do a little bit more work on that one. Um, and obviously, as I say, check out the previous videos as well. We've got a rig time video for the hair rig. And we also have our... Um, big pike on a sprat video um, that one as I say is still doing a lot better than what I thought it would it really amazed me um, but yeah as I say hit the like button guys hit the subscribe button if you are interested and we'll see you in the next video thanks again